1850, in Harlan County, Kentucky, three women were accused of using witchcraft to harm the elderly William and Susanna Turner. A cunning man seems to have been able to lift the curses, using witch bullets to make the three accused women reveal their perceived malicious intentions. William Turner and his wife Susanna Bailey Turner were slave owners that lived on a huge farm in Cloverfort, Kentucky in the mid-19th century. Their eldest son, James Turner, married Tennessee-born Elizabeth Clay Turner. William gifted his son a couple hundred acres, and James and Elizabeth started their own family. Their son, James Britton Turner, known as Jim, was 13 years old in 1850 when the accusations of witchcraft were circulating. The perceived witchcraft began with the mysterious paralysis of the elderly William and Susanna Turner. Though not initially connected to black magic, the so-called curse seemed to spread when the couple's cattle began suddenly dying without explanation. It's not recorded how many of the cattle died, but since this would have an impact on the couple's finances, the cattle were opened up to determine cause of death. What was found inside, an assumed telltale sign of witchcraft. There were small balls of hair inside of the cattle, but no outward sign of any kind of wound or trauma. These have been called witch bullets. The Journal of American Folklore explains that practitioners of the dark arts killed cattle by shooting them with balls of hair, and examines these artifacts further by describing how an accused witch would create them, saying that a small bunch of hair from a horse or cow is rolled between the two hands into a small round ball of wax. They are then used as mystical bullets that can carry a supposed curse. Soon, it wasn't just cattle that were dying. Horses, hogs, and even dogs were also targets, and found with these hairballs inside of them. And, it wasn't just happening to William and Susanna any longer. In fact, the majority of livestock deaths began occurring to their neighbors, seemingly following one of the couple's daughters. Sally Turner had married Walter Thomas Middleton II, and they were raising a family on their prosperous farm adjacent to her parents' farm. The couple owned slaves as well. However, this family would later become known as unreliable narrators. Soon, witch bullets were being carried by community members. Even though they were considered a way for hexes to be delivered, finding one and carrying it on your person was supposed to protect the carrier from malignant spells and bring luck. However, they would also be used to accuse three innocent people of witchcraft. A charm doctor, also known as a cunning man, whose name is lost to time, was called in to break the curse on the elderly William and Susanna. Cunning folk were faith healers that practiced folk medicine and thwarted alleged witches by removing their curses. And this charm doctor needed to collect some of the witch bullets to get the alleged practitioners of diabolical magic to reveal themselves, and he didn't feel like he had much time to spare. The elderly couple was developing symptoms of the still misunderstood condition of sleep paralysis, where they had hallucinations that they were being suffocated by unknown witches in a liminal state between sleep and waking. These apparitions of the still living were considered spectral evidence and were actually admitted as evidence during the Salem Witch Trials a century and a half before the accusations in Harlan County. However, it was still generally believed that witches could leave their physical bodies and travel in spirit to harm others. To identify these mysterious persons, the charm doctor built a fire outside and tossed the witch bullets that he had collected into the flames. It was believed that burning a suspected witch's implement of damnation would cause the witch to come to the home to try to get any kind of gift, even a drink of water, so that their curse could continue. Unfortunately, three people came under the cunning man's suspicion. The first accused was one of William and Susanna's slaves recorded in history as Old Aunt Dinah. It's not recorded how the cunning man came to this conclusion. Even though the second woman accused was a frequent visitor, her appearance that morning convinced the cunning man she was also working with Dinah. It wasn't too difficult for the cunning man to cast aspersions on Selena Sturgeon. She was a single mother and was dating another of the elderly couple's slaves, a man history records as George. In fact, she had four mixed-race children under the age of six years old, as recorded in the county's 1850 census. It's unknown if George was living with her, but by law the couple couldn't marry. The last woman to visit that day was the couple's daughter-in-law, Sally. 
Her protest that she was checking on her husband's parents wasn't believed by the cunning man. History doesn't record any incarceration for the trio of supposed witches, but it seems that they may have been interrogated for names of other witches in the community, because, with the deep pockets of the elderly couple, the cunning man mounted a costly and disruptive measure to prevent any more imagined witches from trying to borrow, buy, steal, or beg any possessions from the couple. Over four days, the cunning man employed armed guards to patrol in circles around the property day and night to prevent anyone from visiting and assumedly continuing the curse. Since the road to neighboring Virginia ran along the couple's property, travelers were interrogated by the armed men if they attempted to come or go from the Commonwealth during those four days. However, it seems that during all of this, while the cunning man was distracted, strange things were happening around the Middleton home on the neighboring property. At least, that was what was alleged by the family. It's not known if 13-year-old Jim was present at the time, but the family later wrote that Jim was seen causing trouble around the community, even going as far as to set livestock free in the middle of the day. It's not recorded how the accused witches were treated, but the measures the cunning man took seemed to have been effective. Susanna Bailey Turner passed sometime before 1855 when William passed. In his will, he had released three slaves recorded only as Alexander, Judith, and Selena Sturgeon's boyfriend George. It would be easy to presume that young Jim had something to do with the deaths of livestock, considering that he would later be nicknamed Devil Jim Turner. But allegations of him being a common outlaw were perpetuated by the Middleton family, especially after the Civil War divided the families. The Middletons were Confederates, but the Jim household was pro-Union. Jim would even serve as a Union soldier. With hindsight, it's easy to see why at least two of the women were easily believed to be in league with the devil. Dinah was a slave who was forced to care for the couple. Selena Sturgeon probably fit the outdated stereotypical concept of what a witch would be as an unmarried woman ostracized by her community who fell in love with a slave and had children out of wedlock. Only a century before, all three women would have been hanged for alleged crimes of witchcraft. But thankfully, they lived through this ordeal.